and, and just respond to what you don't know. Even accept what you don't know. Stop trying to make sense of it, change it. Because see, this compulsion to understand it is because some part of you thinks, oh, if I understand it, then I can do something different. I can behave something different or I can make that something different. What, what if it's not because you're meant to understand it? What if it's because you're just meant to su surrender and accept that is that? And what if in surrendering and accepting that is that? Something else emerges from that space? Or what if it continues the way it is and then you just are in a state that accepts, well, this is this. That is that. And then vibrationally, there is a different flow. There's a different response. Um, you, you mentioned in particular the reference to autism. Yes. And I'm very aware that, you know, th there's a lot of indications that autism is on the rise. And, well, that's not surprising because, you know, we, the level of toxicity is on the rise, the disconnect is on the rise, etc. you know, for... It's kind of going along the chain and almost like a homeopathic potion. It's getting more and more imbued with each, you know, cycle. So it, it, it's, you know, it, it's kind of understandable that we're seeing that. Um, but I'll, I'll give you an example. I, I was hosted by a family whose son had um, severe autism and actually cerebral palsy. And uh, his family, uh, of course, had had great, great, great struggles with him. And, uh, you know, a great test all the way throughout their life and still finding it very difficult when I arrived in, in their journey to balance the... Uh, symptoms and their interaction with the symptoms. I arrived and I, I sat with this young man and I just engaged presence with him. And uh, he just suddenly began like m expressing these sounds that he was in absolute bliss and laughter and joy because he could finally feel there was just someone just being completely present with him not trying to do anything, not trying to change him, just being with him. With him. And it was a profound moment for the family that this young man was suddenly in ecstasy because he was being engaged with, met in true communion. 